This tutorial is on texturing in Mudbox using projection and stenciling. Uh, let's go and bring up Mudbox and we're going to start a new scene with a basic head. Um, the view, this is a perspective view similar to Maya. If you go into object list you can see that these are your cameras if you want to go look through the front view, right click, press look through and that is what we're going to use uh, when we start stenciling uh, so we're going to come down to paint tools select projection and then we're going to come over select stencil from here add stencil and it's this one I've already put it in so it's going to give me that warning but yours should just pop up down here and what I'll do is I'll put a download link to this picture probably in the description of the video below so you can have a go at this if you like now uh, so this is your stencil uh, as it says here S is your hotkeys so it's similar to how you'd hold alt to you know move around you hold S and it moves your stencil around make it bigger smaller with the right mouse button etc. You can play around with that till you get used to it. These are your options here uh, for the stencil and um, probably when you first select it it's going to look like that it's quite hard to paint using that. I like to make it roughly half visible so you can see what you're stenciling onto and then we'll go over and hit projection the colour, make sure it's white if you use black I just make the paint layer and call it face and I usually make this as big as possible if you use black you're just going to paint black on it which doesn't look very nice so make it white uh, size I'm going to use say 4 and just make it a little bit soft because it allows you a small margin of error uh, if it's too hard you know, it doesn't work that well um, and on mirror I've got it on the x-axis and that just means that it splits down the middle so I'll only have to work on with this one half and hopefully if our lovely subject's face is um, fairly symmetrical it should look good um, one thing I should say before we start is that when you are stenciling really like a face like this you should have modelled the guy's head first because this is just a basic head shape and it's not his head shape so it won't fit um, that well this is just really to show you the basics um, so let's go and just fit it on the head quite basically this guy's nose is a problem it's not long enough let's try that and then there we go, there we have a head. He's got a bit of a hideous double chin there. Sorry dude. I've just noticed that I meant to press 4 and I pressed 40. Not smart. So actually I might do that again so you can see. See that nose is too high up. Let's get some mouth action going on here. There's his lovely double chin. See what I mean about his face not being the right size for his basic head. This this guy's got quite a small head. Um, I found this by the way, this picture just by googling. Um, like UV face texture or something like that. It's got. It's from a really good website where unfortunately you have to pay for the, most of the models. Uh, 3DSK. So if you have some money and you like doing this, a 
There's probably only three ones you can find in places. Let's go into perspective view and look at the poor boy. He doesn't look too bad. His eyes are obviously a bit low down. And his nose is a bit high up. But I just worry that if I make it much bigger, he'd have giant eyes. And, you know, you can't trust a person with giant eyes. I might try moving them up, nonetheless. There we go. That's a little bit better. Maybe even still a bit low. A lot of this is just trial and error, really. Um, look through the side view, bring the stencil up again. I'm going to use the ear as the, um, the basis for positioning it. Yeah, and it's got a small ear. Uh, that's the wrong size. It needs to be bigger. kind of hard to make it go with what you've already done as well you, you often get stuff like that happening so that's why I make the edges softer because it can kind of blur it into what you've already done a bit better this guy's neckline here which we're not really interested in but just stick the bottom in anyway That's where you hit some problems, this uh, line down here doesn't really fit too well. You could maybe um, try using the blur tool or, or just try texturing it better, up to you really. I'm just going to turn the size up a little bit, just for this bit. view again. There's our little fella. He hasn't quite met in the middle. Go back. Just try and sort out this middle bit. Probably make it look a tiny bit better. Yeah, there we go. So the back of his head, um, I'm just going to use these side bits for. Again, if we weren't doing this roughly, we'd probably uh, try and do that a bit better. But, well, we are doing it roughly. He's got no party now. Um, I'm just going to leave that there for now. Turn my stencil off so you can see what it looks like. And um, right, we've got a black here, haven't we? Which kind of matches. So I'll just paint up that bit. And there you have a basic example of a textured human head minus chin blob. Um, yeah, so th so this works on a very basic level, but then you see, you have mod the head, so you get the double chin, nose doesn't fit, these ears are a bit weird. So what I recommend you do really is model the head, do it all properly, and then just do some sort of small strokes in perspective mode when you're putting it on, and make sure that everything looks good. Cause, um, thank you for watching.